वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम सिक्स डैश एटी सिक्स दिस प्रॉब्लम इज टेकन फ्राम चैप्टर नंबर सिक्स दैट इज बेंडिंग एंड बुक नेम इज मैकेनिक्स ऑफ मटीरियल बाई आर सी हिबलर स्टेटमेंट इज डिटरमाइन द एब्सोलूट मैक्सिमम बेंडिंग स्ट्रेस इन टू इंच डायमीटर शॉफ्ट विच इज सब्जेक्टेड टू कंसनट्रेटेड फोर्सेज द जनरल वेरिंग एट ए एंड बी ओनली सपोर्ट्स वर्टिकल फोर्सेज सो यू कैन सी दिस इज द शॉफ्ट हैविंग कंसनट्रेटेड लोड ऑफ एट हंड्रेड पाउंड एंड सिक्स हंड्रेड पाउंड at a and b we have the general bearing which exert only vertical reaction so you have to find the absolute maximum bending stress the diameter of shaft is 2 inch so its radius will be 1 inch so let's start with the solution so first step is that if you remove this general bearing at a so you will be having a reaction force which is r a and if you remove this general bearing at b so you will be having a reaction force which is r b I have drawn the free body diagram over here. You can see. So let's find R A and R B by using equation of equilibrium. So first equation of equilibrium is that sum of all moment about point B is equal to zero and taking the counterclockwise moment as positive. So about this point B, the first moment will be this R A and perpendicular distance is sixty. Clear? You can see this is sixty. and this is producing clockwise moment so it will be negative so i will write minus r a into 60 the second moment will be due to this 800 pound force and you can see the perpendicular distance is 45 this is 45 inch and this is producing counter clockwise moment so it will be positive so i will write plus 800 into 45 and the third moment will be due to this 600 pound and perpendicular distance is this 30 and this is also producing counter clockwise moment so it will be positive so plus 600 into 30 is equal to 0 so from here you will get 60 ra will be equal to 54000 clear and you will get this ra will be equal to 900 pound now you have this ra so we will find this rb by using another equation of equilibrium that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero and upward force is taken as positive so ra which is upward 900 this 800 and 600 are downwards so they will be minus minus 800 minus 600 plus this rb which is upward is equal to 0 so from here this rb will be equal to 500 pounds now you have this ra and rb so we know that maximum absolute bending stress is equal to maximum bending moment into c divided by i so we need the maximum bending moment for that we will draw the shear force and bending moment diagram so let me draw it for that we will take vertical lines from the end of this beam and then a horizontal line to show the length in inches x will be in inches okay let each division is of 300 so 300 600 900 shear force in pounds and minus 300 minus 600 now you can see at point a we have ra which is equal to 900 so your first point will be this one 900 now moving from point a till this load where 800 there is no other force so shear will remain shear force will remain same at this point we have minus 800 so 900 minus 800 will bring it to 100 at this point so shear force will change to 100 let 100 is this point shear force will change to 100 pound now moving from this point till the another load where applied there is no other shear force so it will remain horizontal and at this point we have minus 600 so 100 minus 600 will be equal to minus 500 so shear force will change to minus 500 let minus 500 is this point 
shear force will change to this and again moving from this point till end there is no other shear force so it will remain horizontal and at the end you can see you have rb which is equal to plus 500 so minus 500 plus 500 will cause it to zero so it will like this it will be like this and this is your shear force diagram now we'll draw the bending moment diagram so for that i will draw a horizontal line to show the length x in inches and on y axis we have movement that will be unit pounds into inch let each division is 10,000 this is 20,000 you can take it as per your own scale and 30,000 so on so first area under the shear force diagram is this area and you can see at x is equal to 0 we have moment will be equal to 0 so first moment is 0 now area under the shear force diagram and this area is equal to height which is 900 and the length which is 15 clear and that will be equal to 13500 so at this point we have 13500 we will look at first point 13500 so this is 10000 so let this point is 13500 now you can see shear force is a horizontal line with zero degree so bending moment will be one degree higher and slope will be increasing so we will join these two points second area under the shear force diagram is this area and this area is equal to 100 multiplied by this length which is 15 will be equal to 1500 clear 15 now 1300 plus 1500 is equal to 15000 so at this length we have 15000 so look at 15000 let 15000 is in the mid this is 15000 so you can see the shear force is a horizontal line so bending moment will be one degree higher and its slope will be increasing and it will be a straight line like this you can join these two points okay the third area under the shear force diagram is this area and this area is height is minus 500 and length is 30 so it will be equal to minus 15000 so plus 15000 minus 15000 will bring it to zero at this point so we will join these two points because the area is negative so slope will be decreasing and it will be a linear line so this is your bending moment diagram now from bending moment diagram you can see that from bmd you can see that maximum bending moment absolute value is 15000 pounds into inch and we have been given a rod whose diameter is 2 inch so radius will be 1 inch so c is equal to one inch now for circular rod we have i second moment of inertia is equal to pi by 4 c power 4 so pi by 4 into c which is 1 power 4 now you have all the values just put it in this formula maximum bending stress is equal to maximum bending moment into c divided by i 15,000 into 1 divided by pi by 4 into 1 power 4. That will give you the maximum bending stress. And when you solve this, you will get 19.10 into 10 raised to power 3 PSI. Or in KSI, maximum bending stress is 19.10 KSI. And that is the answer of this question and this was all about this problem 6-86 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching